G'day lovelies, welcome back to The Semi-Sorted Life and an update on my shameful debt confession. Let's do this. Okay, so if you watched my previous video, then... Uh, I won't need to explain a whole lot, but in case you didn't watch that, or if you had questions from that video that I can recall, I will be answering them in this video. So um, I think the main one that was in that video was what is a fortnight and what does that mean? <laughs> and I forgot that it wasn't an international term. Um, it is bi-weekly. So every two weeks is what fortnight means here in Australia and I believe in the UK. So let me know down in the comments if you had to Google that or if you figured it out based on the context or if you use that term all the time. Okay, so I wanted to, I had to rewrite this um, from the previous video, but these were the numbers back then. But the thing that I want, so what I wanted to do in today's video is just highlight the things that won't be recurring on the debt picture, hopefully, <laughs> or that will fluctuate considerably. So the things that will not be recurring every month will obviously be these items here. So any of the overdue amounts will not be recurring in the next update. So um, here's another one. So these were in fact the priorities that I needed to pay to um, get somewhere basically. Ah, and give you a little explanation as to um, a recent purchase or two or three that we have made. So it's actually related to this particular thing here. Um, so back in February 2022, we purchased, um, we got a, our first car loan in a very long time and purchased a, I want to say it was a 2011 2011 Audi Q7 and um, we purchased it second hand for around $23,000 from memory. Um, we didn't do our due diligence and have it checked out independently. We took the person who sold it to us at face value. It looked like a very good car. It was within our budget. It had seven seats um, and yeah, basically we bought a lemon so in may of that year i was driving to my little part-time job and it blew up everywhere and if you've watched any of my old videos um you would have seen the saga that was that i think that was on my vlogging channels but when i say it blew up there was something that happened in the engine well um that basically resulted in a bill for repairs that totaled this so this was the amount of the first invoice. And so obviously we had just purchased the vehicle or we'd probably owned it about four months at this point. And so we needed to refinance in order to get this. We were able to use some of our um, tax returns and we borrowed and begged and all the rest of it to get this amount. So obviously then we refinanced for more than what the car was worth. But we were like, oh, okay, well, we've like fully put a new motor in the vehicle, so we should have no problems. Well, <laughs> famous last week. Because bam, two months later, this happened. So this was something to do with a turbocharger or a fuel injector or something like that. And so then we had to find this amount here. It took us a few weeks, but we we're obviously without a vehicle at that time. And in that time, I was able to, well, I started to apply for full-time positions. And so, um, yeah, that was probably the catalyst for me getting a full-time job. And uh, yeah, so my first couple of paychecks went to covering this amount there. Yeah, so we were of the opinion that what else could possibly go wrong? Well, We've learned with that vehicle that you can't ask that because along came this bill in December. And 
again we just had to find that money i don't know where it came from we just big borrowed and did not steal <laughs> But we just worked really hard, sacrificed a lot. I guess that's where a lot of the overdue was kind of accumulating from us. Um, just trying to get by week to week. And having more money than we've ever had before, granted, but all going towards the repairs of the vehicle. So anyway, come the end of... So this was in December of last year. And we were going along right and fine. And along with my new car new job came a car so the pressure on this particular vehicle was less but it was the only vehicle that fitted our entire family in of six so uh, yeah we thought that was that and then bam along came this year so we got a good six months reprieve on that and then got hit with another one so this was another injector thingy some pipe gasket i don't know but basically another amount so if you're adding up all of these amounts we've spent on this vehicle since purchasing it so not including the purchasing or running price so keeping in mind that this amount doesn't include the repayments that we were making on the vehicle in the meantime so the first bill was 11447 the next one was $2192 and 60 cents the next one was one thousand one hundred and seventy four dollars and 49 cents and the next one was one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars so we spent an extra one thousand or oh, sixteen thousand four hundred and ninety four dollars and 50 cents on a vehicle that originally cost us $23,000 or thereabouts. So needless to say, we're very keen to get rid of this vehicle. Unfortunately, uh, it's obviously in a secured loan, so there's not much we can do about getting out of that loan. Consolidating debt is not an option because of that particular amount there. Um, but we are working slowly, slowly on it. So um, currently, so when I did my original debt confession, I owed $23,739. So remembering that's probably about what we purchased the vehicle for and then add this amount that we then spent on that vehicle. So you can do the math on that. But um, some of that was obviously added to this because we did have a bit of money to put towards the car when we originally purchased it. Now, having said all that, I don't know where we got this amount of money from, but it averages out. So in a year that we owned that vehicle, so we were spending around $300, $320 a week plus on that vehicle uh, in a 12 month period so that's not including however the uh maintenance or that was the maintenance but the running costs so putting fuel in the car um obviously having insurance um, registration all of those costs that were coming in there tires uh, a battery went flat in at one time that was a couple hundred dollars there was all sorts of like little bits and pieces that obviously added to this and I worked out that on average we spent about five hundred dollars a week on this vehicle including like I said all of those little things plus the car repayment so it was actually a little bit more probably yeah well we'll just say rounded out to about five hundred dollars a week on this vehicle which when I think about it actually makes me feel sick but it is what it is now where we're at with that is obviously we want to sell it we will never get any kind of amount of money back for it um, we're going to sell it as is unregistered so in Queensland you can pay to have it registered um, you'd need a roadworthy for it. We do not intend to pay to get any more things done to it. It would need new tyres to be qualified as roadworthy. So we have left it lapse in terms of uh, registration. We are still paying insurance on it, just fire and theft, because we can only hope. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that's where we're at with that car. With my new job, like I said, I did get a vehicle and I was able to actually do what is called a novated lease through my job. So a salary sacrifice situation. And I pay, I think it's about 300 and something dollars a fortnight. 
that's after tax there's maybe a couple of hundred before tax that goes towards it as well so a total of 500 a fortnight or about a thousand dollars a month so obviously i'm really good with numbers they're not exact amounts but i'm paying about 150 bucks 200 dollars a week on a brand war well, 2022 model outlander has seven seats it's obviously got um all of the what do you call it warranties for five seven years maybe at least five years um it's a five-year lease so at the end of five years we can pay twelve thousand dollars or trade it in and get a brand new one so um we are way better off having purchased through through that way we didn't need a deposit or anything like that it just all went through my work um the really awesome thing about that is that it's also some of that payment actually is before i pay tax so it means that my taxable income is lower so i'm actually financially better off long term as well don't ask me the logistics of that that's just what i've been told and what i believe so um, if you're wondering why on earth we would buy a brand new car if you saw that post when we had that vehicle then that is why I just wanted to clarify the novated lease covers the running costs of the vehicle so that one payment covers the insurance the petrol the repairs oh maintenance uh any windscreen breakage any registration new tires um came with a fuel card so it uh, pays for the fuel i don't know if i said that um so it is like a one and done payment there's no extra to pay on that vehicle unless we want to i don't know put some accessories in it of some sort but um it even covers a car wash if, yeah it's a it's a really good deal for i think in total it's about 500 dollars a fortnight but some of that is pre-tax and some of it is after tax. So don't ask me the exact numbers. I just, just know that once we sell the Audi, we will be that much better off. So when it comes to this car loan now, we are making the minimum payment on that uh, each fortnight until we can get it down to a certain amount where we can have it unsecured and we'll be able to sell the vehicle as is. So that is the goal there, number one goal. So from the last debt confession, it was to pay off these things in the green and keep paying the minimum on the rest. So that is the story of why we got a new car. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you got something out of it. Um, if only to laugh at my hopelessness. The next video that I upload, which will be in a couple of days, it will be about my plan to pay off these things and which I've obviously mentioned the priorities, but my plan long-term, how to pay these things off and the current balance of all of these things. Now, obviously filmed this back in May. So there is some significant changes on these amounts here. Some have gone up, some have gone down, but um, I look forward to sharing with you those in the next upload. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.